Here's a map displaying Taiwan, a captivating island located in East Asia. It boasts a strategic position in the Western Pacific Ocean and offers a rich cultural heritage and stunning landscapes. Taiwan has a population of over 23 million people, making it a vibrant and diverse destination. Taiwan is nestled on a remarkable island of incredible and astonishing discoveries that continue to amaze scientists even now. These discoveries are so amazing that if they were not talked about, no one would believe them. So, in this video we will unveil 20 discoveries that scientists found in Taiwan, which have completely surprised the world. Number 20. Ancient Civilization of Tiny People An international team of researchers may have provided evidence for the existence of an indigenous Austronesian population in Taiwan. The discovery was made in a cave in southeastern Taiwan, where archaeologists from Australia, Japan, Taiwan and Vietnam analyzed 6,000-year-old skull and femur bones. These bones belonged to the Negritos, an ethnic group still present in the Philippines, Malay Peninsula and Andaman Islands. The findings shed light on the ancient history of Taiwan, suggesting that a hunter-gatherer population existed on the island for thousands of years before the arrival of the Austronesian people, who are the ancestors of modern indigenous groups. The skulls found in the Xiaoma Cave in Taiwan resembled other Negrito skulls, and the femur bones were determined to be from the same person, a young woman who was just under four, six feet tall. While the time frame raises questions, with Negrito skulls being around 6,000 years old and Austronesian populations dating back approximately 5,000 years, it is speculated that there may have been a connection between the Negritos and the first Austronesian populations who arrived in Taiwan. The disappearance of the Negritos is attributed to their hunter-gatherer lifestyle, which did not align well with sedentary agricultural societies. They likely faced challenges in adapting to the changing way of life and were potentially displaced from their habitat. The research team also referred to historical documents from the Qin dynasty, which mentioned small, dark-skinned people. Different accounts offer varying perspectives, with some viewing them as enemies and others claiming to have eradicated the ancient population about 1,000 years ago. Number 19. Taipei's citizens love to eat 14-legged giant isopods. A ramen restaurant in Taipei has created a buzz with its new dish featuring a 14-legged giant isopod. Since its launch, the ramen boy has attracted over 100 people to join a waiting list for this limited-edition noodle bowl. The owner, known as Mr. Hu, finds the isopod's appearance attractive and uses a simple steaming method to prepare it. The steamed isopod is then added to a bowl of ramen with chicken and fish broth, priced at 1,480 Taiwan dollars. $48 per bowl. Customers describe the meat as having a taste similar to a combination of crab and lobster, with a dense texture and slight chewiness. Giant isopods, distant relatives of crabs and prawns, are the largest among thousands of crustacean species. They are typically found at depths ranging from 170 to 2,140 meters in the ocean, with a majority residing at depths of 365 to 730 meters. The species of giant isopod used in the dish, known as Bathinimus jamizai, was discovered near the Dongsha Islands in the South China Sea. Concerns have been raised about potential ecological impacts and health risks associated with the dish. Some scholars caution against consuming the relatively unknown species due to the possible presence of toxins or heavy metals like mercury. While scholars highlight the need for further research and the establishment of a comprehensive database, Customers at the restaurant express their enthusiasm for the special menu item. They believe that if the giant isopods were unintentionally caught, as claimed by the restaurant owner, it is an opportunity worth trying. Number 18. Rare 1760-pound goblin shark discovered. A massive 1760-pound goblin shark pregnant with six pups was trawled up from Taiwan waters. Originally intended for sale at a restaurant, the Taiwan Ocean Artistic Museum acquired the specimen for display. This is the largest goblin shark ever caught in those waters. Goblin sharks are known for their distinctive appearance and long snouts. They inhabit depths of up to 3,940 feet and feed on bony fish, squid and crustaceans. The museum describes this rare deep-sea shark as a living fossil belonging to an ancient shark family. The pregnant shark, with its pinkish-purple coloration, had a rounded belly containing six pups. 
goblin sharks reproduce via internal fertilization and give birth to live young. The fishing method used, bottom trawling, is criticized for its indiscriminate impact on non-target species and seabed damage. However, bottom trawling is not banned in Taiwan. Goblin sharks are elusive, and most knowledge about them comes from accidental captures. While they are not considered endangered, their sightings in the wild remain rare. Number 17. Toxic cane frogs invade Taiwan. Taiwan races to contain an invasion of toxic cane toads that threaten the local ecosystem. The highly toxic cane toad native to the Americas was introduced to various regions in the early 20th century. Researchers in Taiwan discovered the invasion after a resident shared photos online, prompting a swift search operation. Over 200 cane toads have been captured so far, with concerns about their rapid reproduction and lack of natural predators. Cane toads are known for their ability to lay up to 30,000 eggs and their scavenging behavior, which contributes to their successful invasion in over 40 countries. The recent invasion in Taiwan may have been caused by the black market pet trade or illegal breeding and sales. Farmers initially welcomed the toads as pest controllers and symbols of good luck. The containment efforts continue, with researchers awaiting the next mating season to assess the success of their intervention. Number 16. Recent sighting of extinct clouded leopard. The Formosan clouded leopard, believed to be extinct, has made a remarkable reappearance in the wilderness of southeast Taiwan, stunning witnesses from Alangi village. Rangers in Taitung County's Daran Township spotted the elusive leopard in action, stealthily hunting goats, which prompted immediate investigations by the Forestry Bureau. To delve deeper into the significance of the sightings, the Paiwan tribe, referring to the leopard as Li Uljo, swiftly organized a tribal meeting. They imposed strict hunting restrictions, aimed to curtail disruptive activities, and advocated for the preservation of their natural habitat. Recognizing the urgency of the situation, the Austronesian Community College Development Association has initiated fundraising campaigns to support conservation efforts. The clouded leopard's elusive nature and the challenges it poses for individual capture have been emphasized by ecologists. Although details of the sightings have not been disclosed, the Forestry Bureau recognizes the gravity of the eyewitness accounts and plans to collaborate closely with the Paiwan tribe for comprehensive investigations. The recent rediscovery of the Formosan clouded leopard holds immense scientific importance, considering the last confirmed sighting in 1983 and its declaration of extinction in a survey from 2001 to 2013. Number 15. Taiwan's Contaminated Waterways Taiwan, a beautiful island nation in East Asia, faces a significant challenge with its contaminated waterways. These waterways, including rivers, lakes and coastal areas, have been affected by various pollutants, posing risks to both the environment and human health. With their graduation project, Polluted Water Popsicles, three design students from New Taipei City's National Taiwan University of Arts have brought water pollution to the attention of the world. In their fourth and final year of a visual communications qualification, Hung Yi Chen, Guo Yi Hui, and Cheng Yu Ti collected water from 100 different Taiwanese lakes, rivers, beaches, and ports, and transformed it into a variety of vibrant, contaminated ice cubes. The contamination of Taiwan's waterways stems from several sources. Industrial activities, such as manufacturing and mining, have discharged harmful chemicals and heavy metals into the water, leading to severe pollution. Additionally, inadequate waste management and improper disposal of agricultural runoff have contributed to the problem. The consequences of this contamination are far-reaching. The polluted water threatens aquatic ecosystems, harming fish, plants and other marine life. It also poses a risk to public health as communities rely on these water sources for drinking, irrigation and recreational purposes. President Tsai Ing-wen pledged that her administration will strictly monitor and control all sources of pollution in her inauguration speech in May of last year. After all, there is only one Earth and one Taiwan, she remarked. Number 14. The Devastating History of Taiwan's Comfort Women Comfort women, also known as comfort girls, were women and girls who were coerced into sexual slavery by the Imperial Japanese Army in occupied territories before and during World War II. 
The term comfort women is derived from the Japanese word ianfu, which directly translates to comforting, consoling woman. The atrocities committed by Japanese troops during the war involved the forcible recruitment of hundreds of thousands of women from countries such as Korea, the Philippines, Vietnam, China, Taiwan, and others, who were then placed in brothels where they endured horrific sexual enslavement and repeated acts of rape. In the Japanese colony of Taiwan during World War II, many men were conscripted as either soldiers for the Japanese army or civilian laborers for the military. At the same time, women were summoned by the military or police to work in places like hospitals, kitchens and factories. In those days, if Taiwanese people disobeyed the Japanese military and police, they would be putting their lives at grave risk. The women were either sent overseas, to Hainan, the Philippines, China, Indonesia, Burma and other places, or sent somewhere in Taiwan, to facilities attached to military ports or munitions factories. Many of them were forced to work as comfort women. The mistreatment inflicted upon these women resulted in numerous casualties, including deaths and cases of suicide, as a consequence of the brutal conditions and prolonged physical and emotional trauma they experienced. Regrettably, Japan's acknowledgement of the suffering endured by the comfort women has been minimal, lacking a comprehensive apology and appropriate restitution. In a number of cases, women were victimized while their husbands or fiancés were away, conscripted into the army. Almost none of these victims could tell their husbands what had happened after the men returned from the front. They were burdened by the secret for decades. Number 13. Discovery of a terrifying six-fourthed prehistoric worm. Recently unearthed in Southeast Asia, this enormous creature, known as Panicnus formosi, lived over 20 million years ago and possessed a formidable set of dagger-like jaws that ripped its victims to shreds. With a length of about six and a half feet, this toothed monster was capable of dragging even large marine animals into its burrow, leaving a trail of terror in its wake. The identification of Panicnus formosi was made possible through the study of its massive L-shaped burrow, measuring over an inch in width. Using lightning-fast lunges, it would snatch unsuspecting passers-by in its powerful jaws, leaving little chance for escape. Interestingly, this prehistoric creature is believed to be an ancestor of the bobbit worm, one of the most fearsome predators found in today's oceans. The bobbit worm, featured in Sir David Attenborough's Blue Planet 2, can grow up to 10 feet long and has been known to attack humans. The new species' feeding behavior is very interesting for scientists. It would hide within its burrow, waiting for the perfect moment to explosively launch upwards and capture its prey. The still living victims would then be pulled into the worm's underground lair for consumption. The discovery of Panicnus formosi fills an important gap in the family tree of bobbit worms, which can be found in oceans worldwide. With thousands of species ranging in size from a few millimeters to several meters, these worms are diverse and mysterious. Number 12. 85,000-year-old 50-foot whale fossil discovered in Taiwan's jungle. In the lush tropical forest of southern Taiwan, an extraordinary discovery unfolded during a treasure hunt led by an archaeologist and a local collector. As they ventured through the moss-covered rocks and vibrant greenery, their attention was captivated by a peculiar sight. They found four protruding ribs, leading to an extensive excavation project. The team unearthed a massive whale fossil dating back 85,000 years, nearly 50 feet long and about 70% complete. They excavated various parts including vertebrae, shoulder blades, the skull's backside, and the jawbone. The jawbone was the largest and heaviest fossil, weighing over 730 pounds. The team used stretchers to carry the fossils out of the forest, with the jawbone alone taking 12 people about 7 hours. The fossil likely belonged to a blue whale or big fin whale, which once lived off Taiwan's coast. It is the first of its kind discovered in Taiwan, and was taken to the National Museum of Natural Science for further research. The find enriches our understanding of Taiwan's ancient marine history. Number 11. Potentially new human species discovered. Scientists have recently unveiled the first ancient human fossil found in Taiwan, which consists of a nearly complete right side of a lower jaw with primitive-looking teeth. The fossil was retrieved from the seafloor of the Penghu Channel, located about 15.5 miles off the western coast of Taiwan, at a depth of 200 to 400 feet. 
During the last ice age, when sea levels were lower, the channel was connected to the Asian mainland. The fossil, known as Peng Hu One, was initially sold by an unknown fisherman to a local antique shop. Its significance was recognized by a collector who later submitted it to Taiwan's National Museum of Natural Sciences. Analysis of trace elements suggests that the hominin lived between 10,000 and 190,000 years ago. The researchers note that the jaw and teeth appear more primitive than expected for its age, as humans generally evolved smaller jaws and teeth during the Pleistocene epoch. The resemblance between Peng Hu One and a 400,000-year-old fossil from Hexian, southern China, leads scientists to propose that these fossils represent a distinct group of archaic humans. However, they caution that further evidence is needed to confirm if it constitutes a new species. Number 10. Bizarre Rock Formations of Yeliu Geopark Yeliu Geopark is located in Wanli, between Taipei and Keelung in New Taipei, Taiwan. These extraordinary formations, known as hoodoo stones, are tall spires rising from an arid basin or badland. Some reach heights between 1.5 to 45 meters. Among the approximately 180 hoodoo stones in various stages of erosion, the most famous is the Queen's Head. This 4,000-year-old rock resembles England's Queen Elizabeth when viewed from a certain angle. Sadly, erosion has reduced the neck's circumference to a mere 138 centimeters. The Queen's Head and other rock formations in Yeliu Geopark are undergoing continuous transformation due to natural forces, and touching these rocks is strictly prohibited. The rock formations undergo three stages of development. Seawater enters cracks in the rocks, causing erosion and forming stone columns. In the second stage, erosion continues but the tops of the columns, composed of calcium-rich sandstone, resist. This results in the thinning of the softer rock below, leaving a mushroom-shaped top and a reduced neck. As the land rises, these formations emerge above sea level, sculpted by external forces. Apart from the Queen's Head, other formations in Yeliu Geopark bear descriptive names like Mushroom Rocks, Sea Candles, The Beehive and Fairy Shoe. It is advisable to witness these amazing formations soon before time and erosion drastically alter their appearance. Number 9. Mysterious Structures on Google Earth The Taiwanese government has asked Google to blur satellite photos showing mysterious structures located near ITU Aba Island in the South China Sea. These structures have sparked curiosity and discussions among internet users. Although experts believe they are military installations, their specific purpose of defense, attack, or surveillance remains uncertain. The Taiwanese government, concerned about national security, has requested Google's assistance in blurring the images. ITU Aba Island, also known as Taiping Island, is fiercely disputed among Taiwan, China, Vietnam, and the Philippines. Taiwan's Defense Ministry and Coast Guard confirmed the request, but did not disclose the true nature of the structures, citing the need to protect military secrets. While Google stated it would consider the request, it noted that similar requests have been denied previously. A former government advisor, Dustin Wang, believes the structures are military-related, possibly serving as advanced lookout posts due to their strategic location facing seaborne traffic. China has previously constructed military structures near other disputed territories. Additionally, the President of the Philippines, Rodrigo Duterte, has expressed concerns that the ongoing dispute may escalate into violence. Number 8. New Strawberry Crab Species Discovered have you ever heard of a crab that resembles a strawberry? Well, a marine biologist in Taiwan claims to have discovered a new crab species that looks exactly like that. This fascinating creature has a bright red shell with small white bumps, giving it a strawberry-like appearance. Professor Ho Ping Ho from National Taiwan Ocean University believes that this crab species is similar to those found around Hawaii, Polynesia and Mauritius, but it stands out due to its unique clam-shaped shell measuring about one inch in width. The discovery of this intriguing crab species has been confirmed by Taiwanese crab specialist Wang Chia Xiang, adding credibility to Professor Ho's finding. In June of last year, Professor Ho's team came across two female crabs of this new species near Kenting National Park, renowned for its diverse marine life. Unfortunately, the crabs did not survive for long, possibly due to pollution caused by a grounded cargo ship in the area. As scientists continue their exploration, 
there is a hope that more specimens of this extraordinary strawberry-like crab species will be found, allowing for further study and conservation efforts. What other mysteries might the ocean depths hold? Number 7. New Amphibious Centipede Discovered Have you ever heard of a giant centipede that lives both on land and in water? Researchers from Tokyo Metropolitan University and Jose University recently found a unique centipede species in Okinawa and Taiwan. This large tropical centipede, known as Scolopendra alciona, is the largest of its kind in the region, measuring about 20 centimeters long and 2 centimeters wide. It's the first new centipede discovered in Japan in 143 years, indicating the incredible diversity of the Ryukyu archipelago. The scientists were thrilled to identify this unknown centipede species, which has a striking jade-colored shell. Interestingly, these centipedes exhibit amphibious characteristics, making them only the third known amphibious species in the world. They prefer streamside environments and are likely endangered, inhabiting forest streams that are inaccessible to people. Given the importance of preserving their habitat and the overall unexplored biodiversity of the Ryukyu archipelago, the research team intends to monitor and study these centipedes from a safe distance. This discovery serves as a reminder of how much there is to learn about the natural world and the need to protect these fascinating creatures. Number 6. Weird Intersex Shark Discovered by Stunned Fishermen Another remarkable discovery was made off the coast of Taiwan, an intersex shark, the first of its kind ever found. This Pacific spade-nosed shark, caught by surprised fishermen, was only 1.6 feet long and weighed 0.4 kilograms. Sharks usually develop as either males or females, making intersex specimens extremely rare. This unique shark had fully formed male and female genitals, suggesting it could function as either sex reproductively. While intersex sharks are rarely encountered, scientists have yet to find one carrying a live embryo in its uterus. The causes of intersexuality in sharks could be attributed to genetic factors or environmental contamination. The discovery of this intersex shark raises fascinating questions about the reproductive mechanisms and mysteries of these ancient creatures. Number 5. 4,800-year-old mother cradling baby discovered. Archaeologists made a remarkable find that comes from the Taichung area and represents the earliest evidence of human activity ever discovered in central Taiwan. The excavation of this site, which commenced in May 2014 and concluded after a year of meticulous work, has yielded a remarkable collection of 48 sets of remains. Among these, the most striking and emotionally stirring discovery was the skeleton of a young mother with her gaze fixed upon the child she cradled tenderly in her arms. The sight of this ancient bond between mother and child left the archaeologists and staff members in awe and shock. To determine the age of these precious remains, carbon dating techniques were employed. The results revealed that these fossils are approximately 4,800 years old. This time frame places these ancient individuals at the dawn of human settlement in central Taiwan. Number 4. Massive Sinkhole Appearance in Taiwan What caused the appearance of a massive sinkhole in Taipei's Xinyi district? Local officials reported that the sinkhole emerged near a construction site, triggering the evacuation of nearby residents for their safety. Luckily, no injuries were reported by Saturday evening. Witnesses described the startling moment when they heard a loud bang and witnessed the ground collapse, leading to the sinkhole. Bicycles and scooters were seen tumbling into the expanding hole, adding to the sense of fear and urgency. Measuring an alarming 15 meters in length, 3 meters in width and 3 meters in depth, the sinkhole continued to worsen as the day progressed with additional collapses occurring. Investigation revealed that the sinkhole was directly related to the ongoing diaphragm wall works taking place at the construction site. In response, the construction activities were immediately suspended and remedial measures were implemented to prevent further expansion of the sinkhole. The Taipei city government took swift action by imposing fines on both the construction firm and the architect, amounting to 90,000 new Taiwan dollars each. Number 3 prehistoric settlements found underwater. While searching for an underwater town, the Underwater Archaeological Institute stumbled upon a wall-like structure beneath the waters. This unexpected find has sparked public interest and received support from the National Museum of History's Marine Archaeology team, 
These structures are believed to be remnants of the legendary continent of Mudalu, which housed Asia's earliest civilization, the Ketagalan. The absence of human remains or man-made objects raises questions, but the expedition leader and team insist on their human origin. However, the future of marine archaeology faces funding challenges in the region. Let's see if they can prove their theory in the future. Number 2. Blue Sea Slug Discovery Researchers in Taiwan have made a surprising discovery of Glaucus atlanticus, a sea slug typically found in tropical regions but never before seen in Taiwanese waters. The sighting was made by Wang Tiancheng, a local bed and breakfast owner and tour guide, who stumbled upon a group of about 60 of these distinctive blue sea slugs during a tour. After confirming the identity of the slugs, the research team led by assistant professor Lo Liu Qi announced the significant finding. The sea slug's name originates from its resemblance to Glaucus, a mythical figure from Greek mythology. Lo suggests that the warming seawater caused by climate change may be responsible for the northward migration of these slugs. Another factor contributing to their presence could be the abundance of Portuguese man of war and Valela, their preferred prey, in the waters near Sialiusiu Island. It's worth noting that Glaucus Atlanticus is immune to the venom of the man of war and possesses an organ to store the venom, enabling them to deliver a more potent sting. Researchers caution against physical contact with these slugs and emphasize that they are not suitable for consumption. Number 1. Taiwan's Beetle Nut Addiction Ling Ling, a young vendor in Taipei, stands by the roadside enticing truck drivers and workers to buy beetle nuts, a popular and addictive snack in Taiwan. Chewing beetle nuts, wrapped in beetle leaves, provides a stimulating effect similar to espresso or amphetamine, but comes with the risk of mouth cancer. Shockingly, about 90% of oral cancer patients in Taiwan have a beetle nut chewing habit. Despite its health hazards, the beetle nut consumption remains prevalent due to the belief that it provides energy, warmth and social connections, particularly among those who work outdoors. To combat the issue, Taiwan has implemented fines for spitting beetle nut juice and encourages farmers to switch to alternative crops. Clothing restrictions have also been imposed on beetle nut vendors. While there are signs of progress with a decline in beetle nut chewing rates, especially among urban youth, there is still a need to address the addiction and its associated risks. Tell us in the comments below which discovery you found the most interesting.